Meta AI has released Llama 3, their newest large language models, and these models are available for download as open weights models. So I thought I will build a chatbot, a retrieval augmented generation based chatbot using the Llama 3 8 billion instruct model. First, let's look at a quick demo. So this is a chatbot uh, which is built to answer questions on a particular condition known as fibromyalgia because I am using this document which is a guideline or which is a booklet which talks about this particular disease called fibromyalgia. So I am going to do retrieval augmented generation chatbot over this particular PDF file okay, using Llama 3 as my uh, Llama 3 8 billion instruct as my LLM and a couple of other libraries. Okay, So I asked a question what is fibromyalgia over here and this was the response. There is a typo over here in this particular uh, disease condition whatever I put over here but then it is given a proper response from you know the file. Right? Fibromyalgia is a long term condition uh, you know uh, tenderness all over the body it gives this. Now if I were to ask it like what are the symptoms okay so it's actually generating over here right uh, so if you look at it uh, for this particular uh, query uh, it is taking somewhere I think a little over 20 seconds or more but the generation is happening yeah somewhere it took close to 20 seconds right so it says according to the provided information the main symptoms are this pain feeling as uh, tiredness fatigue stress worry or low mood okay these are the this thing additional some people may experience symptoms such as right pain getting worse in and see if you over here difficulty and it is not continued over here probably it's because of the generation window which i have put right but if you look at this thing it is actually pulled up from over here okay and uh, you know it has taken a uh, couple of these things and then it's actually created the symptom list right what are the symptoms it is created from over here okay now if i were to ask how do you diagnose How do you diagnose fibromyalgia? Again, I think somewhere close to 20 seconds. So this demo is actually running on a GPU instance, Collab GPU. Okay, somewhere close to 20 seconds. It says according to the information, it is difficult to diagnose, vary from person to person. Right? There are any specific blood test, x-ray scans or this thing to do it. Uh, but you might have some blood uh, test to check for other condition your doctor may also suggest a referral to a rheumatologist physiotherapist so on so it's again pulled that information from here right and it's kind of made a summary out of it right so uh, you my doctor may suggest a referral to this part and then you know this part right so it's actually pulling information from this file and uh, the large language model is able to generate responses okay now let's go to the technical details okay so first and foremost now uh, this particular model is released on hugging face so you have to actually go and apply over here for access it will ask you some details like your name organization and other details so once you apply over here you will get access to the model and uh, the access is quite fast I got access in somewhere around five minutes or something. I applied and immediately got access to the model. So this is the model which I am using Meta Llama 3 8 billion instruct. So this is an instruction fine tuned model. Okay. Uh, this model can generate text and code only. It has a context length of 8K. Right. And uh, the other details are present over here about this particular model. So I am making use of this particular instruction fine tuned Llama 3 8 billion parameter model. So I got access over here. The next thing is that you need to create an access token over here. Okay. Uh, let me open over here. Right. Uh, if you go to hugging face, you need to create an access token over here. Right. Uh, uh, and you need to 
uh, copy this access token in your collab notebook okay now let's go to collab notebook right um, so what i am doing over here is that i am making use of a l4 instance so this is a paid instance this is not a free instance and if you look at over here uh, let me look at uh, the resources this particular model has taken close to 16 gb ram okay so this particular l4 instance is a good instance it is cheaper okay the l4 gpu instance and uh, this it has 22.5 gb gpu ram okay this model took somewhere close to 16 gb ram right uh, now let's go to our code so first you need to upgrade uh, transformers okay that's what i've done over here install transformers then i'll be using llama index as my library for this rag framework okay so i need to install llama index uh, i'll be um, using a pdf file i'll be reading a pdf file so pi pdf uh, gradio for my ui and a couple of other libraries over here that is what i do over here okay i create a folder called data over here and i upload my pdf file right uh, and uh, um, that is what i do i have to upload the pdf file over here so that is also done then what i do over here is that i need to install uh, llama index okay uh, so here i have installed this particular version of llama index uh, for me it works with this version maybe the newer version also can work but i have installed this version okay then what i do is that i install llama index llms hugging face this needs to be installed to make use of hugging face llms with llama index okay so that is also done all right now after doing that i need to install fast embed embeddings okay so that is what i am doing over here all right and then i install fast embed also because i'll be making use of fast embed for embeddings right and then what i do over here is that i create a simple directory reader and i load the data basically this pdf file okay so once this pdf file is um, loaded i also load my fast embedding model which is this is the embedding model okay bge small so i am loading that particular model okay so why is this embedding model required so if you are familiar with retrieval augmented generation or rag framework okay uh, what happens in rag framework is that uh, you have a set of documents okay right uh, let, let me open an image one of these images any one of these images should be fine okay uh, okay maybe i'll open this one all right so in a rag architecture what happens is that uh, you have a, a document which is already present right you have a set of original documents these documents are converted into vectors using an embedding model and they are stored in a vector database let me zoom this image and uh, yeah so what happens in a, a rag architecture is that you have a set of documents your referral documents from which you want to query information now these uh, documents are converted into vectors using a embedding model now when a query comes from a user okay the what this rag framework will do is that it will actually uh, send the query convert uh, convert the query into embeddings using the same embedding model and it will do a vector database search right for finding relevant context and that contextual data is used by the framework along with the query and it is sent to the llm the llm then uh, does you know it generates a response based on the context right and that is given back to the user so what the framework does is that it takes this relevant context it appends it to the original query and the prompt and sends it to the llm and from the llm you get the response back it post processes the framework post processes the um, uh, response and gives it back to the user so the framework which i am using is llama index the embedding model i am using going to use over here is fast embed the vector database is chroma db the llm is llama 3 8 um, billion instruct model now let's go back over here right uh, then what i do over here is i have to create a prompt template so prompt template system prompt is you are a question and answer assistant your goal is to answer questions as accurately as possible based on the instructions and context provided okay so here i create a query wrapper prompt and uh, this is not required uh, because i have created a hugging face token over here and i copy the access token over here right so i need not do uh, what you call hugging face notebook login 
then what i do over here is that uh, for llama 3 you need to get the stopping ids for the token uh, model so how you do it is like this uh, you get the tokenizer and from the tokenizer you get the uh, stopping ids okay basically end of says token id and um, convert token ids there is a eot id so that is what is stopping ids here is where i am instantiating my llama 3 8 billion instruct model so this is how i instantiate it over here uh, so hugging face llm if you see tokenizer name and model name is meta llama meta llama 3 8 billion instruct so here is how i am initializing it okay and the context window is 8k and the max new tokens is 256 i can increase this to generate more output okay uh, so this is how uh, system prompt and query prompt and all those i set up over here and settings dot llm is equal to llm so i have instantiated the llm over here okay then what i do next is that i create a vector store from my documents uh, using uh, so internally what it will do is that uh, here i would have set the llm embedding to uh, you know embedding model i am setting over here okay so using this embedding model it will actually convert the documents into vectors and it will store it in the vector database okay so that is what is happening over here so here i am actually not using chroma uh, db i am just using the internal uh, vector store index okay it is an in memory vector store which is present over here right then what i do over here is that uh, i create a query engine and i uh, create a predict method over here which takes an input and based on the input uh, it gives it to the query engine right and a response is generated so internally what happens is that when an input query is given it tries to find out the relevant context from the vector database it retrieves the context attaches the prompt and then gives it to the llm the llm is able to generate a response and that response is actually uh, returned by the query engine okay after post processing and so this predict method i am creating for creating my uh, gradio ui and here i am sending my predict method with the input and history uh, so what happens over here is that when a user sends a query over here that is sent by the gradio chat interface to this predict method which is actually then sent to the query engine okay what this query engine does is that uh, internally it will take the query find the similar vectors in the vector database retrieve the textual cont um, context or content um, and then send that along with the user query and prompt to the llm get the response back from the llm post process it that is what is returned over here and that is returned back to the ui so that is what you have seen in this particular demo so in this way you can actually create a rag based application using uh, llama 3 instruct 8 gb model and using um, various frameworks like llama index fast embed for embedding right so here you can play around with the different vector databases and other things which uh, llama index supports so this is just a prototype uh, you know this is not a medical grade chatbot or anything this is just a prototype of how you can use llama 3 uh, agb instruct model for rag for retrieval augment generated generation chatbot I hope this video is useful to you. I'll share all the links in the description of the video. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.